I have this motto, I didn't make it up. It says, to whom much is given, much is required. Okay, when I was doing my primary school, we were going to school barefoot. So that's the family, you can imagine, that's where I'm coming from. And uh, I remember my dad was like, in these words, we don't have something which is called luck. No luck, you have to work, you have to sweat. So when I talk to my family, they try and ask me a lot of questions like, so how many more years do you have to do? You still have to study. After three years, then two more years. Are you, are you really willing to do that? Three months into the training, I learned that my wife was pregnant. She got sick and I wasn't there. My father and mother-in-law had COVID, my mother had COVID. So that was like really, really tough. The exciting part of it is that we passed through that and we achieved the goal of being the first interventional radiologist of the Road to IR program. Interventional radiology essentially tries to make medical procedures less invasive, avoiding large incisions, treating different diseases through a tiny pinhole. We can just poke a hole and use that hole for everything else. We are not surgeons in the sense that we don't use a scalpel, we don't open the patient up. Patients leave with a band-aid. We use different imaging techniques. There's something called ultrasound, there's x-ray, there's CT, to really see through the skin and inside of the body. So we can then use small catheters, small wires, needles, etc., to navigate through the patient's body and we can essentially go anywhere we need to go. They can do a same day procedure, go home on the same day and get results. And because we keep the patient whole, they can go back to their regular lives, they can take care of their families, they can go to work, they can contribute to society. So that, that's huge for the community. Six years ago, with a population of around 60 million in Tanzania, we had zero interventional radiologists. Based on those findings, we said, why don't we try to start an IR training program in Tanzania? And so that's how Road to IR got started. How do you actually bring minimally invasive procedures to Eastern Africa? Yes, you can actually just fly people in and do these procedures, but we knew all along that the only way to sustain this was to actually form a training program. Unlike other programs that you hear about and you basically go somewhere and you volunteer and you're doing all the work, here you're going and you're training somebody else how to do the work. You're giving them the tools that they need to succeed. And when they graduate, they will in turn teach others. The mission is to teach, train, and make sure that we have a good IR savings Tanzania. Who would think that you can have a training program made up of faculty from all around the world and that every two weeks you would fly someone in. That's absurd. And we are the 56th group to come and do this. I had no idea until I got on like my first Zoom and was like, oh, this is kind of a big thing. Like, we'll see what happens. I remember having conversations with each of the trainees in Tanzania. Their common answer for why they wanted to do IR was that they wanted to directly, with their own hands, affect the lives of, mm -hmm. of patients. Fundamentally, that's that's what drew all of us into medicine. Which is why like the road to IR and their story is so important because it's about giving back to them. Mm -hmm. The history of Tanzania is that so much was taken away from them. You know, so much of their minerals, so much of their history, so much of their people. It, it really kind of struck me that this is about giving back to them. Mm -hmm. Their control over their healthcare system, their control over taking care of their countrymen. It is not helped only Mohimbili or Tanzania, but the region surrounding us. And I think one day we are going to wake up and uh, we see the entire Sub-Saharan Africa transferring knowledge to each other. So this is hard work. And when you score 
in IR, that means 50% of people are going to die. That is unacceptable. So I expect this team to raise the bar. You cannot fail. But this is one of my mottos as well. Tough times don't last, tough people do. And so what this experience in Tanzania really taught me was that we can do better for patients all over the world. The same care can be given everywhere. And this is really the, the, the essence of what Road to IR is about, is to be able to provide intervention radiology to, to all patients, no matter where they live, no matter their resources, no matter the local politics or the local religion. We need to be striving to make high quality medical care accessible to all people as a human right. Anywhere, hospital is important because they're using exotic equipment without cutting, without, without pain, okay? I think that's better. Yeah, yeah. And so, yes, we're here to provide the same care everywhere. And it is in Eastern Africa, it is in Alabama, it is in rural Georgia, it is in wherever they don't have care, in Ohio and in Michigan, because better medicine is available for everyone, everywhere. And anywhere that these roads take us, we will travel there.